Every day I see the effects of dirty air on our children. When I drive down the hill into Albuquerque, I can see the blanket of smog, and from that I can tell how many asthma attacks there's going to be that day and how busy my clinic is going to be. One trend that we have been able to identify in the local air, metropolitan area of Washington, D.C. and surrounding counties is uh, an increase in uh, prevalence in cases of asthma among Latino children. I've seen an enormous increase in asthma-related infections in children in the West Texas area recently. It's for this reason that I'm supporting the EPA's new carbon standards. We live in an urban setting that has limited access to green spaces and is predominantly surrounded by concrete, which traps the heat. And this exacerbates and worsens the incidence of asthma and other respiratory illnesses that are related to carbon pollution. In the state of Illinois, we have many power plants and they're close to where the migrant and seasonal farm workers are working. And what we have uh, seen lately, high incidences of respiratory in infections and diseases. Coal-fired power plants are the number one contributor to air pollution and climate change. The health risks are great, but the economic risks are greater. Take a stand, add your voice. Say yes to clean air. Please join me in urging the EPA to protect our health because clean air means healthy children. We need to protect health and not polluters. I support the EPA's efforts to reduce carbon pollution and I encourage you to do the same. The time is now. Please join us.